Hello everyone. Last month we had the RBI policy. The RBI surprised everyone by pausing on rates. RBI governor emphasized that it was a pause and not a pivot in April 2023 policy. The growth target has been pegged at 6.5% and the inflation target has been pegged at 5.2% and it assumes average $85 on crude. Post the April policy, we had the inflation numbers for the month of March 2023. The inflation numbers came in lower at 5.66%, lower than the market expectation. At the same time, core numbers were also lower. The core inflation number came at 5.78%. In the US, the, so, the slower pace of disinflation and strong growth numbers continue to support monetary tightening by Fed. However, deposit outflows seen by small regional banks in the US has led to financial conditions tightening further. Recently over the weekend, we have seen JP Morgan Bank taking over one more small bank in uh, US, which is the First Republic Bank. We expect FOMC to deliver a 25 bips hike this week and post that we expect Fed to stay on hold for the rest of calendar 2023. However, the Fed fund futures are indicating a rate cut in US starting September 2023. Now in India, based on our first half average inflation likely to be sub 5%, neutral Fed guidance going ahead and tight liquidity conditions we expect RBI to stay on hold for the rest of 2023. The entire yield curve has trended lower in the month of April 2023 post the RBI policy and market is pricing the entire yield curve assuming 6 half on repo rate to be the peak rate. The entire GSEC yield curve 3 year, 5 year, 10 year and 15 year trended lower by approximately 10 to 15 basis point in the month of April. We saw a similar movement in the corporate bond segment as well. Currently, the one-year OIS, which is trading at 660, is pricing in a 25 bips rate cut by RBI over the course of next one year. The 10-year GSEC, we expect it to trade in the band of 695 to 715 during this quarter. Now, given the above view, and despite the recent drop in yields, we believe investors should continue to increase duration of their investment portfolios. Given that we are peak on rates, and likely easing of rates in first half of calendar year 2024. We believe that a gross return of a two year plus duration fund is likely to be higher than other prevailing fixed income options. Investors with three month plus investment horizon can consider a money market fund or a low duration fund over a liquid fund. Similarly, investors with one year plus investment horizon can consider either of these funds, which is a uh, banking PSU fund, medium term fund, dynamic fund, guild fund, or they can also look at longer duration target maturity funds. Thank you. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.